This is ridiculous. Look at the time of the morning. I barely got an hour of sleep in, if that. I just want to make sure he's in the video this time. So thanks to this guy right here, I'm eating the breakfast of champions. McDonald's hash browns and juice. See ya. See ya. Thanks for your ride. <laughs> All right, it's finally official. We're boarding the plane for Chicago. Hooray. hotel room finally and check this out we paid for a lake view and technically we got one but that's incredible wow we're out and about looking for food I'm not sure our hotel room is up way up there but on the other side of the building here's the pool nothing to write home about really but it's interesting probably would say I prefer my pool at home, but I'll give it a lap or two. We are at the Museum of Science and Industry. There it is. Uh, going down these stairs, trying to figure out what we're doing. I don't know. There's the line that got stuck behind us as we're riding the escalator up to the very top. There we go. Check this out. It's a United Airlines plane. And it looks like you can go in it. That thing is massive. And it's smaller than what we flew on to get here. That's awesome. Alright, that's a little disgusting. This Twinkie right here that's pivoting came into creation almost a decade ago. That is gross. Oh my word. Wow. So this interesting little exhibit shows you like if you get a candy bar, how much weight you gain. That's crazy. I'm gonna stop having to eat candy. I found a pendulum clock, but it's not the one I remember. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming that's about an avalanche, but I'm not really sure. It's just interesting to watch. See, this is uh, one of those little wind chambers. I've been through Hurricane Irma. This is nothing. Nothing. Still feel nothing. I mean, what's 80 miles an hour when you've been through 195? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. This is really cool. It's like you're on a film set almost. It's all these fake facades. Like, why even get a drone when you can get all your drone shots like this? It's a little miniature downtown Chicago. And in the mini downtown Chicago, I am probably going the complete opposite direction of where the hotel is. Maybe not. I think it's right over here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure. I think, I could be wrong, that our hotel is like this building here, maybe? I don't know. The Carmack Center would be a dead giveaway. This is incredibly big, though. And for some random reason on the other side is Seattle, of all places, I'm not sure why. This is awesome. A phantom of the opera is there, inside your mind. That was awesome. I've seen those on like YouTube videos and stuff. It's 
pretty cool to see one in real life, and I have no idea what the heck this thing is. It's like how different colors look under different lights. Yeah, this place is filling up quick. There's a line like you wouldn't believe over there. So with the large crowds of people and traffic with occasional honking horns, random alleyways, it feels a little more like New York, or at least a bigger city than Tampa or whatever. So it looks like we accidentally, this is where we are, but we accidentally stumbled into the birthplace of the deep dish pizza. And all we did was expand in 1955. So this will be truly eating the original deep dish pizza in Chicago. Yeah, we got some soup. The soup smells really good. Let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. I'd say yeah. What do you think of the soup? It's good. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's really good. Okay, so this is an odd little shot that's framed between salt and pepper shakers and stuff to make it work. Here's the pizza. Let's see how this works. Let's see. I like it. It is, it is pretty good. All right, I got a bite with everything. Ice cream, whipped cream, cookie. It's incredible. Way better than the Cheddar's cookie back in Florida. Way better. Like one bite and I was hooked and I just couldn't stop eating that cookie. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, you just told me that at dinner. I, I slept two hours in the last 24 hours. It's crazy. So this place was a theater and over here and around is the proscenium, which is awesome. If you look up this way, you can see the top of the proscenium. And then down here are the really outdated theater lighting. So we just came out of here and it's insane. There's the pizza place we ate at right here. And there's the original home of the deep dish pizza. Like they got real creative in where they put their two different locations. They're on opposite ends of the streets. Well, if I did it in New York, I gotta do it here. We're inside of one of Apple's flagship stores, which is cool. Um, don't have any of those in Florida. And so far, I haven't even run into the products. It's all just places to sit and chill. And then they're all down here. The regular store part is on the ground. All right, one more taxi ride in. And we're yet at another museum. So let's go check out this one. I gotta say, impressive entryway. This is an entire exhibition of the stupid birds that I deal with in the middle of the road on a daily basis. These stupid things prevent me from driving constantly. Not really the albatross, but I found an albatross. I think honestly, I'm more impressed with the architecture here than anything else. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's crazy. Wow. I think the craziest part of that was the sign that said like 27 things died since eight o'clock this morning. Well, that was an interesting trip. We managed to make it through two museums in one day on about two hours of sleep. So hopefully now we're headed back to the hotel. We are finally back at the hotel and it feels so good. I'm so freaking tired after this full on day. It feels so good to be back here. First of all, that view just still is amazing. Second of all, I really needed to sit and this feels nice. And we're at it again. 
make sure I just woke up and I'm exhausted. This place is freaking huge. Okay, I got a lot of editing to do. I'm back in the room. I got myself a little flatbread to eat here, so I'm gonna eat. But you gotta check this out. Look at this view at night. Hold up, let's get the other camera. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm still getting some reflections. There we go. That's beautiful. So, any Mahu, I will see you fine folks tomorrow in another installment of the vlog. Good night.